Top 9 Mysterious Discovery Found in Antarctica Today, we will talk about top 9 mysterious discoveries found in Antarctica. Antarctica is one of the most extreme environments on Earth. Most of Antarctica is covered in snow and ice. Parts of it are dry and ice-free, making them particularly hostile to life. Scientists have explored amazing and mysterious discoveries, from alien-finding bacteria to animals tapping into the Earth's magnetic field. Here's the list of top 9 mysterious discoveries found in Antarctica. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 9. Bacteria that could help us find life on other planets Scientists have found a previously unknown ability in microbes that could also be found in alien life forms. Discovered in Antarctica, they have the ability to sustain themselves by extracting the energy and carbon they need to survive from trace gases in the air, such as hydrogen and carbon monoxide. The finding that living things can survive on nothing but air provides scientists with clues about life in extreme conditions, such as those found on other planets. The research team led by scientists from Australia's University of New South Wales made the discovery while researching microscopic life in the continent's dry coastal regions. Scientists took soil samples from two pristine polar deserts along the coast of eastern Antarctica and studied the DNA of the microbes living in them. They found the dominant species in the soil samples possessed genes that gave them the capacity to extract hydrogen and carbon monoxide from their surroundings, allowing them to literally live on air. This new understanding about how life can still exist in physically extreme and nutrient-starved environments like Antarctica opens up the possibility of atmospheric gases supporting life on other planets. Number 8. Signs of Fire Fire is one of the greatest threats in Antarctica. A very dry climate, frequent strong winds, and a lack of liquid water with which to tackle any fires along with isolation and no possibility of rescue for weeks or months makes fires a potentially more disastrous event than anywhere else in the world. The first recorded fire in Antarctica happened during the 1898-1900 British Antarctic Expedition led by Karsten E. Borchgrevink aboard the Southern Cross. A member of the expedition accidentally set fire to his mattress with a candle during the winter, nearly burning down the hut. If the hut had burnt down, it could have led to the death of all members of the expedition following the loss of supplies and shelter. Number 7. The Coldest Temp Discovered The map of Antarctica shows the massive East Antarctic Plateau, which includes Dome Argus and Lake Vostok, two of the coldest places on record in the world. When you go higher or lower, the measured temperature at your location may change. Surface temperatures are a different beast altogether. The Eastern Antarctic Plateau claims the title of coldest place on Earth. Between 2004 and 2016, satellite data collected across Dome Argus and Dome Fuji, an area around the size of Australia, suggests that air temperatures could be around negative 94 degrees Celsius. This would be the coldest temperature on Earth, but researchers think that with the dry air around the area, it could cause temperatures to get even colder. Number 6. A Giant Hole a few years ago, a giant hole opened up in the Antarctic sea ice, capturing attention around the world. Not since the 1970s had such a chasm appeared in the mid-ocean ice of the Weddell Sea. Scientists showed in previous research that ocean processes and cyclones contributed to the hole, called a polynia. Most polynias in the Southern Ocean occur along Antarctica's coast. These temporary ice-free zones are oases for penguins, seals, and other Antarctic wildlife. The Weddell polynia, however, formed much farther from shore. Francis and her colleagues found that a series of them crossed the Weddell Sea in the days before and after the massive polynia opened in 2017. They carried an exceptional amount of water vapor, itself a potent greenhouse gas, that warmed and weakened the sea ice and helped intensify the cyclones that followed. The atmospheric rivers also brought large amounts of warm snow that likely enhanced the melt. Number 5. Ice That Sings a steady seismic hum animates Antarctica's ice, all the time. Humans can't hear the 5 hertz frequency, but researchers picked up the hum on sensors meant to detect vibrations in the ice. This subsonic singing is caused by the movement of wind against the ice, the researchers reported in October. The song changes subtly when the ice melts or when wind changes the shape of snow dunes, making the sound a possible way to track local changes remotely. It's kind of like you're blowing a flute, constantly, on the ice shelf. Lead study author Julian Chaput, a geophysicist and mathematician at Colorado State University in Fort Collins, said in a statement. Number 4. Seals with Superpowers In 2014, the National Science Foundation announced that scientists discovered Weddell seals may have a sixth sense. 
Antarctic seals are uniquely adapted to live in its icy waters. From sea-like teeth to large eyes and black muscles, Weddell seals have biological adaptations that allow them to dive deep as much as hundreds of meters while hunting. It is their unique circulatory system that allows them to make record-breaking dives. They can hold their breath for up to two hours at a time and dive more than 1,500 meters, over 4,900 feet, underwater. They also have an uncanny ability to find the breathing holes they need on the surface of the ice by using the Earth's magnetic field as a natural sound. Number 3. The South Pole On December 15, 1911, the South Pole was discovered by Roald Amundsen, the last of the Vikings. The race to the South Pole was one of the greatest international races prior to the race to the moon and was full of tragedy and triumph. It featured tiny, newly independent Norway against the British Empire, upon which the sun never set. It was David versus Goliath. Join us as we tell the gripping story of those who perished and prevailed in this epic quest. On 18 October 1911, after the Arctic winter, Amundsen's team set out on its drive toward the pole. Captain Scott began his trek three weeks later, at around 3 p.m. on 14 December 1911. Amundsen raised the flag of Norway at the South Pole. He had reached the pole a full 33 days before Captain Scott arrived. Amundsen and his crew returned to their base camp on 25 January 1912, 99 days and roughly 1,400 nautical miles after their departure. Scott left his base camp with his team to the pole on 1 November 1911. He finally reached the South Pole on 17 January 1912, disappointed to learn that Amundsen had beaten him to it. The torturous return journey was faced with stoicism and dignity. Weak from exhaustion, hunger, and extreme cold, his last diary entry is dated 29 March 1912. He died in his tent alongside two of his men. Number 2. The Loch Ness Monster Ancient Antarctica was also home to the world's heaviest elasmosaurus, a plesiosaur of the genus Aristonectus. Paleontologists discovered the long-necked sea creature on Antarctica's Seymour Island in 1989, but they weren't able to finish excavating the enormous fossil until 2017. They ultimately pulled 1,760 pounds, 800 kilograms, of fossilized bone off the island. After examining the specimen, the researchers described the beast this year for the first time. In life, the Antarctic Loch Ness Monster would have been 36 feet, 11 meters long, and weighed in at a bulky 15 tons, 13.4 metric tons. The creature lived only a few tens of thousands of years before the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction 66 million years ago, when an asteroid collided with Earth and wiped out the non-avian dinosaurs. Number 1. The Ice's Age Since the discovery that atmospheric carbon dioxide CO2 concentrations were lower during past ice ages, the cause has been a mystery. Now, scientists have discovered that a weakening and upwelling in the Antarctic Ocean, the ocean around Antarctica, kept more CO2 in the deep ocean during the ice ages. This diatom species, Fragilariopsis kergulensis, photographed both alive, left, and fossilized, right, is a floating algae that is abundant in the Antarctic Ocean and was the major species in the samples collected for this study. Nitrogen isotopes in their shells vary with the amount of unused nitrogen in the surface water. Researchers used that trace of nitrogen concentrations in Antarctic surface waters over the past 150,000 years, covering two ice ages and two warm interglacial periods. The discovery of the ice's age allows scientists to explore Earth's climate much farther back into history and potentially lead to a better understanding of the mechanisms that cause the planet to shift into and out of ice ages. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed our video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section below about our list of top 9 mysterious discoveries. Also, if you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.